Uh, good evening again. I'd like to call the community of the whole meeting for the Village of Cary for April 2nd, 2024 to order with roll call, please. Dudek? Here. Collier? Here. Weinhammer? Here. Stefani? Here. McAlpine? Here. Walrath? Here. Thank you. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Uh, moving to the public comments, the public is invited to make an issue-oriented comment on any matter of public concern not otherwise on the agenda. Chris, you signed in again today. Did you want to comment on this? Just state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Chris, 446 Lloyd Street. Um, there was about 10 or 15 people uh, that stopped in and about the sidewalk uh, south of 14 on 2nd Street. I was just wondering, have any of you drove through there to see where the sidewalk is in front of the new development there that's no there. where the boy was hit with the bus or in on the hilltop yeah we've been has anybody drove in there to see where the sidewalk has the because sidewalk hasn't happened yet okay it will be well when does that whenever the construction is um looking at the several pictures there some of those there's not room i don't know if you've ever figured out there is not room on both sides of the street for sidewalk unless you move utilities mm -hmm. Have, has anybody paid attention to any of it well yeah yeah we've had a discussion on it before mm -hmm. multiple times. this isn't on the agenda tonight so we're not prepared to talk and then, about it uh second thing is um I'll talk about that at another time. Thank you. Is so anybody else would like to address the community of the whole? Uh, we'll end it at uh, 617. Uh, we have one item on the agenda tonight is a discussion regarding a potential vendor kiosk concept for alcohol sales within downtown Cary. Uh, turn that over to uh, Director Simmons. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, the item before the board for discussion tonight is regarding a concept that um, has previously been floated to the board um, in some of our uh, capital improvement plan discussions. Uh, but most recently, we did have a conversation with a business that um, asked about potentially doing the concept um, and wanted to present it uh, before the board this evening. Um, as the board is aware, we generally look to encourage business activity uh, within the downtown. <coughs> Um, it's just some of the, the activity that we've done in the past includes the downtown carry strategic plan um, has various elements within that plan to encourage more uh, business activity within the core of the community uh, and different uh, recommendations that the village has implemented um, in some cases including uh, the uh, implementation or design of additional public spaces in the downtown area uh, not just Spring Street but also looking at uh, the uh, you know, Old Depot Plaza area, um, you know, those areas that have uh, been envisioned within the downtown uh, strategic plan. Um, Alfresco Alley, obviously the village has uh, historically uh, closed that street, uh, or Spring Street, uh, to allow for outdoor dining activities on that roadway. Uh, and that has been successful over the last now four years um, of time period uh, to encourage uh, additional activity within the downtown area uh, for businesses and residents to um, enjoy that space. Uh, most recently, the village did uh, significant streetscape improvements on Main Street uh, to enhance that corridor uh, to again provide um, a, a viable um, streetscape uh, to in, uh, make the area inviting for individuals to come and uh, want to visit businesses downtown, but also um, enjoy the uh, uh, the ambiance of the, the community. Uh, and uh, last year or two years ago, now actually. Uh, the village did approve uh, food truck permits uh, within the right-of-way downtown. Uh, so we have encouraged uh, within two locations where businesses um, that uh, may operate food trucks uh, can obtain a permit from the village um, and set up in the downtown <coughs> area uh, on specific nights um, with a certain uh, a fee at charge to that as well. Um, we have seen various uh, businesses take advantage of that. 
uh, the concept uh, that's up for discussion tonight, again, was originally discussed as part of our CIP uh, discussion uh, a few years ago. Uh, was just an idea as we're envisioning ways to encourage business activity in the downtown area, uh, specifically at the time we're dealing with the COVID uh, pandemic, <coughs> and ways to encourage uh, outdoor use of space. <coughs> Uh, so the concept was included in, in some discussions uh, as a CIP, but was not actually uh, flushed out in detail as far as how it might uh, operate. Uh, we recently had discussions with uh, existing business <coughs> in the community um, that has operated a similar um, facility in another community in the area, uh, and they had interest in potentially um, partnering or uh, establishing a uh, kiosk within the downtown area for potential alcohol sales and uh, have an entertainment component with that. And I'll let the individuals um, give more information as far as their concept uh, from that standpoint. So tonight really wanted to have um, a discussion with the board to say that this is something that, you know, is uh, there's interest in from the community <coughs> or at least a, a business owner uh, is interested in uh, providing the service in the downtown. Uh, wanted to see if it's something that the village board is open to uh, and then if so uh, determining potential locations within the downtown area and then if any uh, <coughs> additional regulations or whatnot would be necessary for the use so uh, from staff's perspective don't have a recommendation this evening for proposed language that may need to be changed in the codes standpoint but just really want to have a discussion uh, point to see if it's something that is worthwhile to continue to pursue uh, from that standpoint. So um, if there's any specific questions, I'll be happy to answer those, but I would invite the um, business uh, owners up front to provide more information on their concept and what they're looking to do. And then from that standpoint, uh, staff does have additional slides that we can go over that would provide more information on potential locations for the pros use downtown. Thank you. Is the petitioner here? Yep. <coughs> And Courtney, if you want to advance one slide. Thank you for coming. Could you just state your name and address for the record and who you're representing? Sure. Michelle Strait, um, address, well, home address or business address. Uh, business is fine. Uh, currently 126 Jandis Cutoff in Cary and 101 um, North First Street in Cary. Thank you. Dylan Strait, same address. <laughs> Brian Atkins, 117 West Main Street for the business as well as the Maple Tree business on First Street. Great. Thank you very much. Did you want to kind of go over what your concept is and what your thoughts are? Sure. Um, yeah. So we have been well aware of the plans happening mm -hmm. in Cary and how exciting all of the entertainment district is becoming. And so when we saw the plans of a potential container kiosk type bar, uh, we were excited about that. That's something that we currently do in McHenry. And as you can see the pictures up above. So that has been a really successful fun adventure for us in collaboration with the city of McHenry. And so as a current bar that is not a restaurant, we don't offer food at the Maple Tree, we thought this could be a really fun way to participate in the current <coughs> entertainment district down here in a way that we feel confident in bringing some fun ambiance. And what we currently do in McHenry is we book all of the music on behalf of the Riverwalk Foundation and all of the food trucks. So thought being we could do something similar here in Cary and being Cary residents, are, this is where we have grown up and where we work. And so we thought that would be really neat to do this and participate alongside all of our fellow businesses uh, here in our hometown. So if that's something you're looking for, it's something we feel we could fulfill. So one of the big questions we always get asked in, uh, in the beginning stages in McHenry was, you know, what are we going to be taking away from uh, businesses that are already there? And what we've done is we've act actually proven that we've brought more down to our area and then we close up and they end up going to other places that sell food uh, that are open later than us. Um, and we've really been able to obtain like a new uh, <coughs> district of entertainment that uh, 
doesn't necessarily come from the river, uh, even though we're on the river walk because there's not many spots, but it's people coming from either out of town or uh, in town down to the river walk area um, to, to have fresh air. Uh, we have a beach. Um, this I could see a little bit different. Um, so we make all these containers and everything in-house um, to, to, to fit our needs. Um, one proposal was it would be close to the train. So I don't know how many people go past the train tracks every day, but this gives something different to look at for all of the member, you know, people that ride the train back and forth. So that could potentially bring people off the train that usually would never come to carry. Um, we're obviously only selling uh, drinks for a certain limited amount of time. Uh, those customers would probably end up going to a restaurant bar restaurant, restaurant right close by to, to check out you know, what they have. Um, so it really does bring more to the community. Um, it's not just for us, um, even though you know, we're, we're here kind of pitching the idea, um, but we've kind of proven uh, to all the most of the bar owners in in McHenry that we we brought more than <laughs> than we took <coughs> away. So yeah, and it, and as some a current business who's not in the entertainment district right now, it is a way to kind of extend that and and help us be a part of it and hopefully bring in various other restaurants as pop ups periodically or whatever you will, so that the whole community can really benefit from this exciting entertainment district. So. Yeah, we've we've sponsored music, fire dancers, yeah. fireworks, yeah. Yeah. all, all kinds of stuff that uh, basically we have somebody on yeah. on our staff full time that that's all they do is uh, events. Are you done? Sure. Oh, I just I, 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 don't, I don't want to, I just didn't want to jump in with with yeah. questions kind of thing. I just you know what were you thinking of your hours of operation, your days? What 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 does that look like? I mean, that would vary. Right now in McHenry, we're currently in, we're Thursday through Sunday, so typically um, closed down around 8. So, you know, we're pretty much shut down at 8. So usually at that point, people have mm -hmm. kind of moved along, gotten something to eat or whatnot. Unless um, we're doing a special Unless event. it's a, a big event, then we're, uh, you know, then we stay open longer. Okay. I'll open up to the board or the committee for any questions they may have. I don't have any questions now, but I did want to hear, because I do see some business owners mm -hmm. from the downtown area here, so I did want to hear from them. Sure. And I know we have some concerns from 750 Kachina Rustica. Right. Um, so I don't have any questions at this time, but when we do have a conversation after we've heard from everybody, I do kind of want to chime in at that time my opinion. Sure. Anybody else have anything? What kind of resistance did you get from business owners, just that they were going to lack alcohol sales, basically? Or how, how did you determine that they had an upkick in business? Yeah, you know, it was very anecdotal. Um, and the aldermen, really. But, I mean, like, through council members saying, you know, we've, we've heard some concerns, this might take away from their business, and it's actually done quite the opposite. No, nobody actually No one's ever actually said that to us or, or come to a meeting and, and spoken against anything that we were doing because, truly, we're really collaborative. So everything that we've done and the big events that we've had have, <coughs> have made such an incredible draw for the brick-and-mortar establishments in downtown McHenry. It's unbelievable. So um, this is just a way we saw it. We saw it in the plan. It's something we already do. It's something that we thought we could add to the current existing establishments in a way to hopefully bring even more people down downtown and just make grabbing a quick drink when you're outside for these events pretty easy, simple, fun to walk around. So not to take away from anybody, only to add to it and hopefully collaborate on a many levels. Does anybody else have any questions right now before I ask? No, you're I, 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 same thing. I want to chime in afterwards, but I'd like to hear what the, some of the business owners have to say as well. Yeah. I mean, I will certainly say I love the concept. I mean, it's a matter of <coughs> where and how you know, how you implement it. Um, because I have to say, I have concerns as to where it was proposed here. But I know everyone's just a, it's a starting point. Yeah. Yeah. So I would like to hear what the 
business owners have to say also yeah. that have some, sure. some concerns, some I other business owners. One other thing to just add that's important too is this this would function as a seasonal, you know, limited hour, limited day establishment to help with that outdoor entertainment aspect. So it's not something that is truly competitive in the sense of there's no food and it's very limited. So it unless we can collaborate with yeah. people with food. I mean, but that's Existing. not our intention. So if you were if you were seasonal, would the unit be removed in the winter? Do you have the ability yeah. to move it mm -hmm. somewhat easily, I would take it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just wondering. Thanks. Yeah. Although I didn't have anybody sign in. Is there anybody here who would like to talk about this? Any of the, I see Leo here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see Massimo is here, too. We, we know, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Can I ask a question then? Sure. I, I read through the uh, guys you proposed. So are you more opposed to the location that it was presented at in this or just the concept of the idea? Massimo, can I have you come up to the microphone? That was Massimo from uh, 750 with his uh, opinion regarding the letter that they had submitted. Pardon me? It's a great idea what you have, but it's not mm -hmm. Okay. All right, since nobody wants to uh, chime in on this, we do have a, a letter of opposition from 750 Kachina uh, uh, with regards to uh, the location and the use uh, compared to where their location is well. Uh, but uh, since no other business wants to chime in on this, uh, open it up to the committee for some additional comments. Um, so I'm just curious. I know we've never read letters that have been sent to us or emails that have been sent to us um, aloud to the public, to people watching online. Um, but I know that um, other locations, like meaning other municipalities, have done that when I've watched meetings online. Um, and I know that this will go into the minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious why why we don't read this for the public to go ahead and hear what we're discussing. I'll defer this to uh, our attorney. Who okay, advised thank since you. That wasn't. So the public comment period really is intended to allow for the input that you need to make informed decisions. Um, this is a lengthy statement. We do have somebody here, it appears, from the restaurant. If they want to make a comment about their business and uh, their position on this. So it's, it's really up to this group whether or not you think you need to read this into the record in order for this group to be able to make decisions. Um, I know we've all read it, um, but I'm just saying as far as for the public to go ahead and understand concerns and things like that, um, just in general with any email that we receive for anything, I guess I'm just asking why we don't. That, that was my only question. I know we haven't done it in the past. I'm just curious the reason why. Sure. If it was brief, I would imagine we would <laughs> be able uh, to go back through it. It is a fairly lengthy document. Um, we, can, we have summarized for the people that are present, if anybody has any <coughs> questions um, about the content of the letter, we can share that. But it is a letter that indicates that that business um, at this location, in close proximity to this proposed business, uh, objects to this particular use in this particular location. And again, I, I know you don't want to, to come up and speak at length, but um, if you have any feedback or input, it would be useful for the, for the group. And if you do come up to the microphone, it is easier, because I do sometimes watch these online, and I can't always hear like the ZPA meetings and stuff. If people aren't speaking into the microphone, people who are missing this meeting can't hear what anybody's saying. So mm -hmm. did, I know you've already asked, but did Just you want to speak? In? Yeah, do you want to read it? 
you could come up and read it, I, I is what I'm it. understanding. Excuse me for interrupting, but if you yes. want to read it, you can go ahead and yeah. read it. You can read the okay. whole thing if you want to. You have that right to, to okay. read that letter in if you so choose. Excuse me. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Paul and Gallinera, 575 Krenz Avenue. As a person from the public, I request that Trustee Weinhammer read the letter. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Dear Trustees of the Village Board of Cary Board and Mayor Kalnick, my family owns a growing restaurant in downtown Cary adjacent to Alfresco Alley, known as 750 Cucina Rustica. We have just marked our seventh year in this wonderful town and have received nothing but support from the village, community, and businesses alike. We are also proud residents of Cary. Our children attend Cary Public Schools as well as participate in the local athletic organizations. We feel proud to be in Cary at such an exciting time. Having survived the COVID pandemic and being part of all the exciting new improvements in Cary's changing downtown. We take seriously the investment Cary made in our business seven years ago and we feel we have contributed to the success and popularity of Cary's downtown. <clears throat> 750 Kachina Rustica and our family is already committed to supporting our downtown and has been so from the beginning. We have been a sponsor of the Cary Main Street Festival and Mary Cary Parade since 2016, before we even opened. This year, we are honored to have the opportunity to be the largest main stage sponsor at the revamped Cary Main Street Festival. Additionally, we support numerous efforts of the Cary Grove Chamber of Commerce and the local schools and, support and sport organizations. We host community events, both public and private, at 750 Kachina Rustica. We have been a sponsor of the Miss Cary Grove event for, pa for the past few years. We are proud to say that our intelligent and talented sponsoree, Miss Streit, was voted second runner-up in the comp competition in 2023. Many of the things we do in the community, we do with a recognition as we feel that to be good stewards of our success, we should, we should give back at every level with no desire to receive that recognition. We have often fed those experiencing hardship, help some recover from tragedy or illness, and support those on hard times within our community. Our sense of community flows deep within us, and we take pride in not only being Cary residents, but an appreciated member of the business community. <clears throat> As a locally owned business with a strong sense of community and support to the downtown redevelopment, and as a licensed member of the downtown social district, we partner with the village and other businesses to make downtown Cary a destination within the community and for the adjacent communities to enjoy outdoor dining, live music, and all that Cary has to offer. We have offered outdoor dining since the pandemic, thanks to the mayor and village trustees, and outdoor music a few years now. It has been served as a family-friendly gathering space to enjoy a great meal and really keeps people local while enjoying our beautiful summer weather and the opportunity to patronize a local restaurant in fun outdoor setting. With that being said, we have been working with the village over the past few weeks on finalizing our permit to install a tent on the outdoor space and expand our live music offerings, not only to Friday and Saturday, but adding Wednesday evenings to complement the car show returning to downtown. Feedback and public comments on what we offer is nothing but positive by providing live entertainment to go along with the wonderful meals they enjoy at one of the diverse downtown restaurants, all while supporting the downtown strategic plan. We recognize that El Fresco Alley is adjacent to our building and we consider it, to, consider, consider it an honor and privilege to work with the community to make this a fun, inviting space for all downtown businesses to benefit from and have always tried to work with those businesses to maximize usage of that public space for their business. It is common to see patrons enjoying a cup of coffee, pizza from Uncle Jerry's, a cocktail from the tracks, or a meal from Cary Ale House and seating areas on Spring Street and along Main Street. The public space is bustling. 750 Kachina Rustica makes a large financial investment in that space each year, and this year the, that investment will exceed $60,000 for the summer alone. We hope to improve this experience by adding Wednesday night live music with popular bands and more outdoor access to beer, wine, and liquor during the summer months with an outdoor bar adjacent to our building. 750 Kachina Rustica is a business that is still trying to experience growth and survive the increasing difficult world of operating a full-service restaurant in the post-COVID world. Food costs increase weekly, food costs increase weekly, labor costs have increased drastically, utility costs are astronomical, and disposable income is less for patrons to spend dining out. Restaurants such as 750 Kachina Rustica live for these summer months to get the boost of sales that outdoor dining and increased liquor sales bring. 
These summer months carry the hope that we will generate enough of a cushion to sustain us during the indoor dining months. We businesses pay rent and property taxes based on our locations in a downtown di business district in addition to paying for downtown social district licensing that allows us to serve alcohol for outdoor consumption and for our customers to freely move within the district to patronize all our businesses while enjoying the downtown street streetscape. To now take away something that is already a part of our business model and has been in place for a few years now and in its place allow another business to come in and absorb the sales of what 750 Kachina Rustica and other downtown businesses have cultivated is detrimental not only to 750 Kachina Rustica, but the neighboring downtown businesses alike. This proposal would take away sales from those that work hard to make the downtown area a success and does not serve the interests of those of us downtown. Each of us has made a choice to locate and operate our businesses within the district for all the benefits it provides. This proposal seems to be designed as an attempt to take away a piece of what's already there. It would be no different than a proposal to park a pizza truck in front of Uncle Jerry's or set up, or set up um, an outdoor grill to sling burgers in front of tracks. There is nothing new to generate new business, only existing businesses being taken away from those already offering the same thing. This proposal submitted to you for discussion is confusing to say the least because the concept being presented already exists in that location on Spring Street as everyone is aware. It's nothing new. To now allow another business to replace what we are currently doing by parking a mobile bar less than six feet from a downtown business outdoor bar and taking over the live music in the area will essentially be stealing from existing businesses. Ultimately, this attempt to take over someone's business is irresponsible, causing an existing business to suffer economically and would hurt the other businesses downtown who are already are scrambling to survive. All in all, we have an amazing downtown, each business offering something different and complementing each other while creating sought after space for summer dining. The, town the downtown business district has really united to create these expanded outdoor dining areas with more areas in the works in the west end of the district. And we all support the village's vision to create an exciting bustling downtown while allowing our businesses to be profitable. Now this concept may be in, may be, I'm sorry. Now this concept may in interesting, may be interesting in face value, but it may be better suited for another space within the village comprehensive plan where food, liquor, and music options do not already exist. A mobile business could certainly take advantage of an offering of offering bar service and live music at Rotary Park, Lions Park, with the Cary Park District, or any of the planned gathering spaces or events hosted by the Cary Grove Chamber of Commerce, or even the new public space next year. The most logical place would be somewhere where offering uh, offerings are more limited than they are downtown, and where an additional, an addition of a mobile food liquor truck would bring new people to carry and enhance what is existing, not to jeopardize and hurt the success of a thriving business and force them to completely change their identity and business model in a way that would decrease its vis viability in the downtown business marketplace. <clears throat> on, behalf of, on behalf of 750 Kachina Rustica, my family and my fellow, bus fellow downtown businesses, I thank you, the trustees and Mayor Kaunick for allowing me the time to present my input on the discussion and for the unwavering support each of you has given 750 Kachina Rustica and the downtown community. Respectful, respectfully, Sally Labou. Labou? Yeah. Thank you. Labou. Thank you. Justin McAlpin, you had a comment? I, <clears throat> I certainly understand concerns of, of business owners that they're uh, that they're concerned is hurting their business. However, we're also improving the downtown. When I looked at this proposal, what I originally said was I didn't like the location. The location just did not seem like a viable location. We needed to make some changes to that. So I'm, while I'm open to it, I just want to take a, a note from the, um, I think staff came up with some other options, some different placements for um, something like this. And I'd, I'd like to, I still want to explore it. I don't think we just kick the can and say we're not interested. I think we have to be interested in saying how do we continue to improve. If we're looking to expand the downtown, then having more options is not something that's going to hurt someone. But it's how you do it, where you do it. That, that to me is the most important thing because I don't want to see something that's going to hamper someone that's already doing that type of business and take that away. I, I appreciate 100% what this letter says. Justin uh, If I could attempt to head a couple of things off at the pass here. There's been nothing proposed 
the village is not the, the picture that was in the prior display that went out with the packet literally says just an example and i don't think you can find anybody on this board that would say yeah let's drop it right outside of their door Every single one of us has frequented 750 many times, been there plenty of times, love going there in the summer, have no interest in dropping something that you already do on top of what you already do. I get that, 100%. Uh, second thing I would like to say is the argument against that we just heard, and thank you for, for reading that in, a lot of that argument could be made for bringing any business that serves food and alcohol downtown. So it's a little protectionist for me. I understand the idea of not wanting it outside my door, but if we had as a village somebody coming and wanted to do an intended use with one of our buildings and it's allowed and they wanted to open an Italian restaurant, we would be negligent in the community to say, no, we already have one. It may be better for you. You may be better than them and, and produce better food. So I don't agree with the argument of we can't have somebody else selling alcohol downtown. That's not how you grow downtown businesses. I would 100% agree with Trustee McAlpine is where are we going to place this? Uh, I can also say, you know, unabashedly, I've been to every single place that's been mentioned so far, including in McHenry. Uh, it is a little bit different in McHenry because it is significantly removed from other locations. It is not 60 feet. It's not 6 feet. So there are locations within the village that we can find that I think can be acceptable with the uh, with the uh, food truck uh, ordinance that we had passed, this seems like a natural hand in hand for that. So starting to pair those kind of ideas together, I think is worth a discussion. This is certainly still in the discussion phase, uh, but having seen this be successful in a prior, in a community very much like our own community, I think it's 100% worth exploring. And I would certainly encourage all of our downtown businesses to continue to have input with us. We are not looking to park a pizza truck outside Uncle Jerry's. That would be kind of silly. But somebody that's offering something that is similar, especially somebody that's already a, a, a thriving local business that wants to basically expand to take advantage of our social district, I'm 100% behind that. We do have to, as, as Trustee McAlpine said, we do have to do it in the right place in the right way. Thank you. Well, you took all my words. <laughs> Thank you. Just say ditto. Yeah. Uh, Trustee Dudek, you yeah, have some I, comments? I agree, and I, I, I think one of the things I'd like to just add to all the comments made is, you know, when business people collaborate, they come up with wonderful ideas, and you got a lot of them in the audience. So, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times in this community, we have um, constituencies that fight each other, and because of that, the whole town loses. I would much rather have all these folks work together to figure out how can we bring another business in that will help all of us. Maybe a lot of what they suggested is 100% accurate. The business people would know that better than we would. I, that's, that's what I would prefer for them to do. Okay. Trustee Fani? Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> can we see some of the other ideas? That's yeah, I was, I was just going to say, uh, so um, when this was first proposed, just for, for clarification, we've been talking about some a concept like this for years uh, through, through the, con the, the strategic, pl strategic plan and the downtown um, concept plans, so bringing something new and exciting that would uh, bring a, a whole different crowd or something that could really help um, complement the existing businesses that we have already downtown. Uh, so when we first got this proposal and looked at on the Spring Street, the first thing I'm like, it's, <laughs> I don't want to have it on Spring Street. It's just not a good place for it. Um, other places in town, you know, we have a community plaza that's going to be starting construction at the end of this year or end of the summer. That would be a, 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 probably a, a better place for it. But in listening to some of this and looking at these things, um, I, I wasn't uh, a big fan of you know adding additional music and that stuff because that location doesn't really go with where, what you're doing in McHenry. We already have that. And we don't want to take away from one of our thriving businesses that contributes greatly to the community. Not saying that you would not, but you know we've got to look at how we can harmonize all the different businesses and how we can work together. Like Trustee Dudek said, that we work hand in hand to make make something great, and we have something that you know. Uh, we're in the middle of all the downtown renovations. We're just finished phase one. We've got two more phases to go. 
By the way, we just got another $825,000 in grant money for phase three, just saying. But you know, we're well on our way to get this downtown to where this board wants. So we asked this, the staff to come up with a couple of different options that maybe Courtney can wave her magic wand and <laughs> show us what some of these other, <clears throat> other concepts could be. Uh, so uh, I could jump in, Mayor, real quick. So as Trustee Wallarth mentioned, the, the concept that was shown in the information that was handed out was from our CIP discussion a few years ago. So as, as we were thinking of where we can introduce new items downtown, um, that was just a concept that was looked at and that was just copied and pasted in the report. It wasn't the actual, you know, necessarily the location to solidify for this. But we looked at with these options here, I think the first four options are looking at different orientations within uh, the uh, plaza area uh, that will be under construction later this year, uh, looking at where the old depot building was located at, if you were able to cite, <coughs> excuse me, a kiosk in that property, uh, where it could be located here, it could be perpendicular to the curb uh, to provide access to individuals that would be using the future uh, seating wall with the outdoor fireplace and uh, op keep more of the open plaza area available for use. Uh, option two, uh, reorients it to uh, one of the locations that we've approved for food trucks to operate from, um, kind of in the... <coughs> the uh, Kiss and Ride area uh, for people accessing the transit station. That's a location that we have allowed for food trucks to be able to temporarily set up operations for. Um, in this location, it would be more of a permanent installation, so we might have to look at you know what that use would be uh, from a long-term perspective. Uh, option three, uh, I think, locates it, again, further into the site, again, by the seating wall, uh, possibly you know, um, moving it slightly from the option one, slightly more into the site, and option four, I think, was parallel <coughs> to the fence line in, in the center of that area. So um, certainly there's options from how it would be located uh, within that area, but specifically looking at the plaza as pop possibly an opportunity to have, um, you know, this use potentially set up there, uh, and that could work in conjunction as well with food trucks um, and existing businesses downtown. Um, as well to have uh, a additional tables set up in that plaza in the future and with the pavilion being constructed having some potential entertainment uses um, in that area as well uh, the other options looked at again with downtown we're um, focusing back in the spring street side again probably not uh, the most ideal location for the use but we did put some concepts together to show what it would look like in that location again with um, 750 gutina uh, is looking to uh, put a tent over their uh, outdoor dining area in the Spring Street closure this summer. Uh, so that's represented here as far as where that use would be in conjunction with uh, potential uh, kiosks or the, the board determined that downtown on Spring Street was the best location. Um, obviously, there are <coughs> locations throughout the community. We didn't put together examples for that as well, but <coughs> I think uh, the uh, Maple Tree is specifically looking at uh, the downtown location trying to uh, partner with the village and existing businesses downtown and also utilizing the social district um, as the main drive for uh, the uses why they're focused on that location thank you brian and courtney appreciate that you know one of the things that stuck out uh to me is you know we've got this um awesome uh carry lake at rotary park and we just uh, completed our pavilion, which we'll be having the grand opening in a matter of weeks, uh, ribbon cutting, so to speak. Uh, and it's quite a thing. Something like this down there would probably work really well. We do want to start marketing that for events, you know, graduation parties, weddings, whatever. I mean, uh, the interest will be there, I believe, once we start doing this and having something like that. Because, you know, I think we actually talked to you guys about the kayaks. You know, but we, we have a contract with another company that brings kayaks out to that, and that gets utilized uh, quite frequently. So by making its own, you know, you can bring, if you, you, you contract right now with music and with food trucks and stuff already, something like that's almost prepackaged that you can just <coughs> plug and play that down <coughs> at, at Cary Lake and utilize the pavilion and, and things you know, of that nature. That might be a better setup for what you're, what you're doing. Um, I think what the board is looking for is something that's going to bring additional harmony to the downtown and not going to cause, you know, a, something that's going to butt heads. We've got great businesses that want to work together. They work really well together, and we, we don't want to buck that system. So 
what we're trying to do is come up with something that would be more collaborative, maybe a co-op or doing something that would bring uh, a different perspective to the downtown district. You know, we're always looking for something new, something that's going to bring another element to the, get more people to come downtown. So I'm, I'm welcome to, I would welcome any other further comments about what uh, other areas in town that you may see might be a, a better fit or if you're okay with, if you like the community plans or the plans area, how those looked. If, if you had to pick, a, what would you lean more towards on the illustrations, you know, uh, one, two, three, or four. What are your thoughts on Can that? Can I ask a question sure. before you ask <coughs> this? Um, so just kind of going back to Trustee Dudick's question and comment about collaborating with different businesses, um, have you guys reached out to other businesses downtown to kind of get a feel for them or how you said that you could work with them? Um, I know you've done that, you said, with McHenry. Have you done that here in Cary? Um, no, we felt it was really Could you come up to the yeah. microphone, please? Um, I mean, at this point, it felt really preliminary. So, I mean, to see kind of if this is an option and where we could go. We've, we did put some things in that proposal as far as that's our big thing. We are not looking to take away from another business. We are looking to be collaborative and, and participate. And we always feel that there's enough business for everybody. And so um, it's, it's not trying to take away. It's truly trying to just participate in that entertainment that's what, I, that's what I always say in all my businesses, yeah. you know, uh, in the boating business, I say there's enough business to go around. We opened up a boat club, and then Brunswick came and bought Freedom Boat Club, and I told Michelle, she's really worried about it. I said, don't worry about it. We just have to be a little bit better. We don't have to be bigger. So now there's five different boat clubs up in the chain, but we're still thriving. Great. Yeah. So it's, you know... There's a not, it's just, you know, um, I don't know, like Dylan mentioned earlier in our conversation, it's, it's kind of like, why do people go to certain entertainment areas or malls or whatever? Because there's a large variety and a lot of different places you can go. Like Rosemont. I mean, and, and that's all. We're not looking to take away. I, I absolutely appreciate, um, by all means, the placement that we were not stuck on that. We were just all going through the proposal of yeah, what was already. I so didn't draw that. We, that, was that was not <laughs> intention, okay? Um, but, it, you know, it, it's just we are a current existing business who unfortunately just is not quite in, in the grasp of where all of this amazing um, yeah, intention is. I would say is, so. most of the facade has been uh, laid out on Main Street. Uh, right. So we feel like, you know, there – it's only helping everyone who's already there as mm -hmm. it is, and so just and hoping to contribute. We've been on Jandis since 74, so we're marking our 50-year anniversary. And uh, my grandpa used to work for my father too. his family, <laughs> digging the pits where the business is now. Yeah. So, so. deep roots. Anyway, so the answer is no, only because we, you know, we didn't feel it was appropriate okay. at that time, but, um, that's what we're all about is collaborating if people are open to that and seeing how we can best benefit one another. So um, that's what we, we do well currently and we'd love to keep doing. So Okay, thank you. Yeah. And then um, I just have another question. Sure. Um, Trustee Walrath said that he's been in the downtown McHenry location. I have not, and you guys said that has been successful. So can you tell me what the difference is between what is proposed here and what is um, what you have seen in the McHenry area? From my standpoint, as a as a consumer, as a user, it's the distance from one location. It's it's out on a, a little bit more of a pier, walkway out uh, down towards the marina. So that's why I think placement here would be kind of a critical piece, having it somewhere that's not directly outside the door. Um, so I agree with certainly with the concept. I've seen it work. I've seen it be put. the The good thing about this particular concept is it's not permanent. It is something that can be portable. You know, if, if we wanted to entertain, and I'm literally just pulling this right out of my pocket, you know, 30 days downtown, 30 days at Rotary Lake, at, uh, at Cary Lake, you know, some, some sort of an agreement where we can see what generates the most opportunity. The, the packet that went out also showed a pull behind trailer for it looked like more an event idea. Mm -hmm. That would be something that's probably ideal for either of these scenarios. So I think there's some flexibility uh -huh. on the village's part of what the end product you're producing looks like 
and where it goes as long as you're willing to discuss those things with us in, in both the both the product and the placement thank you thank you for well said that for me too yeah I, I would agree that it's it's location too they're right by the river you know so it's, it's going to look eclectically we wouldn't want it to look the same as something down there you don't want to have that kind of that vibe that wouldn't look right if I were to look at these options I would get it as far away from the train tracks as possible I mean I wouldn't like it butting up I mean I'm just I'm just if these were I'd like option one or option two I don't like three and four it's just too close to the train station trains coming in and out um, but again I, I think that we just have to be cognizant of what a great opportunity it is for us to have a business that wants to come that's already established in our in our town for a long time different businesses and wants to build upon that Again, keeping in mind that we do not want to do anything to hamper the ability for our current businesses. We don't want to do anything to do anything to hurt them for this, from a success standpoint. We want them to continue to grow and be successful. But if you have something that's drawing people in and you bring more, more people into our community, that's a win-win for everybody. If you had more people just come and saying, hey, whoa, do you see this? You come down the train, look at how cool Carrie's looking. Going to hop off that train, going to go grab a beer before they go stand in line whether it's to get into the tracks or to Kachinas or to Uncle Jerry's or wherever, wherever that might be, um, whatever the future may hold. I mean, because the reality is I, I think that we have been talking about a concept like this for years. Again, nothing specific when this came up. It was not something that we've been going and, and discussing all this. We had something made. We don't have anything made up at this point. We are just looking at um, a business that says, hey, is there a viable, an opportunity for us to have something like this in our community? And I don't see how there shouldn't be. There's got to be some way that we can make this work. To my right. <laughs> um, option one or two I like also. And I, I'm not opposed for both locations at the same time, possibly. I, whatever would work out, obviously. Um, to piggyback on Ellen, we're not here to squash an incoming business by any means. It's competition is competition. Like you said, you can open another ice cream shop and carry. Then there'd be three still competition people still go to it so I'm very open to the concept I don't have any particular um, mm -hmm. desire for you know opinion one over the other but I think um, this screams out for um, perhaps the students or some painters to create the artwork that we've been talking about I mean they have a railroad <laughs> container probably a 40 or I don't know how long it is, but it's a 40 foot or whatever size railroad container that frankly painted in green by the river might look good, but in downtown Cary's gonna look like crap. Um, we've been talking about an awful long time about murals in, on the buildings in this town. You walk in this building, you see God knows how many decades of history we had it in the old building. Um, somebody to paint the, you know, the old village hall, the silo, different things that that are part of Carrie's legacy on the side of that container, I think would look cool, whether it's sitting in my backyard or, or uh, Carrie Lake. So that's just my opinion. I, I, I would not want to have just a lime green container in downtown Cary. No, <laughs> no green. No, it makes sense where it was in McHenry, but it would, it would look awful. Yeah. Trustee Safari? If I had to pick one, I'd say four. And the reason being is that I think a food truck alley would be great along there and then having the actual whether it be alcohol sales or, or pop or whatever need be it uh be away from there it wouldn't contradict kind of like what's already planning on being down there so i think it'd look a lot better from that aspect um, but that's all i got i have more questions okay, go ahead. um sorry i just wanted to ask a couple more questions um, you guys are just doing alcohol sales from what I understand. Is there um, like specialty alcohols or something like that is not downtown like that would kind of put you separately or I'm just kind of curious like how it would differentiate yourself differentiate yourself from what's being served at the restaurants? Could you come up to the microphone and answer that please? Yeah, sure. um, yeah and that, that's something that um, you know, obviously could ebb and flow or, or change based on feedback and whatnot. Um, but this being something that would function in a more seasonal capacity, uh, it would be great to do some of the fun summer frozen cocktails, um, open to a variety of different things. But 
um, something that it just abides by the the summer vibe and it's just drinks so um, and that's what we do now as we currently work with the food trucks so work in tandem there um, or d did you want to come up and speak can I hear what this gentleman wants to say and then kind of expand thank you for answering my question hi Joey Florio the tracks two questions <coughs> whose bathrooms are they going to be using Where's the restroom facilities? And then the other thing too, if it's a transportable container, where's the gray water going? Good question. This is just a preliminary thing. No, We're I not know. making any decisions oh, tonight. There's a lot of logistics that need to be worked out. On right, this. but the that's the other thing, they're gonna to use plan. our bathrooms. I mean, there's no facilities. Well, that's something that we could talk about. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. What do you guys do in McHenry? So we have on-site um, uh, disposal system, and then we have that emptied out uh, by a company. And then, and then as far as the bathrooms go, we actually make a uh, enclosed container bathroom as well. So. Up there, we, we haven't because they, they put up a uh, bathroom facility for us up there. But uh, we manufacture all kinds of stuff, so um, we already have plans drawn up for different containers we make, uh, different small, tiny houses that we make, um, bathrooms that uh, I wouldn't say it's a porta potty, it's more would look like a bathroom. Um, so I, I can share those uh, at a later date. I don't want to play devil's advocate, but when you have food trucks out there, what facility are those people going to use? So just uh, we also have throw that cruise out there night. Too. We have things nights. like that when there's cruise nights. Yeah. People are going into yep. wherever they are. Wherever they, uh, and I, I think these things will be when we up. get... We'll, that's a very good pun. Like, I was uh, pun intended. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I think that those are the kind of things if, if we have to create new ordinances and we have to equate new requirements, that's what that part of the process is. We, you know, we are putting the cart way before the horse in this scenario. We have to decide first if we even want something like this. And then if the board gives a direction that, yes, we're interested in something that. Oh, no, you can't. You, gotta come you can up come to up here. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, uh, before, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, if this is something the village didn't want, I guarantee you, I could talk to Leo, I could talk to uh, Vince Galati, we together could do it together, so we're not hurting each other. We will build that there too. So we will help the village and the people that have the locations in that location. We could do that there. So if that's something you guys want, there is Leo, and we will, we will invest and have that built. That's it. So I, I think to, to finish my thought, we, we need to decide if we're interested... Back. I, I think you want to. Uh, we want to decide if we want to have this type of product, and where we would locate it, and if that's the the, the, the idea that yes, that's what we want to do. Then we have to develop the ordinance to say what do you do with the gray water? What do you do with the restrooms? What do you do with with parking? What do you do with people? Where can they be? Where can't they be? That's all part of that process. We haven't gotten to that part. We haven't gotten to enforcement yet. We haven't really talked about any of those kind of things. So we're we're not quite there yet. We have to talk about if we want to have it first. I understand what you're saying, Trustee Walrath, but I do think that since we are having the discussion now, it is good to hear like even like everybody's kind of thoughts like from every perspective so that we can kind of figure out things and just kind of brainstorm and kind of fully understand it. I don't have an opinion on any of the options because I'm still in the thought process of how do I even feel about this? Um, obviously, I want to welcome, you know, somebody new, but on the other hand, I really want to make sure that we are supporting our existing downtown businesses. So I can't actually fully answer still yet how I even feel about this because I'm still processing everything and I want to make sure that we're, like I said, that we're still supporting the downtown businesses. I, I agree with you, but every all businesses are existing businesses in Cary already just I'm saying, because you're downtown. I'm just saying downtown because as I read the letter from 750. Right, but I can play Tina. double etiquette and say we only close Springsteed and they've taken full advantage of that only. Um, Why, but Ale House doesn't take doesn't have that same advantage. Uncle Jerry's doesn't have that same Jerry advantage. Leo, he's had to park his uh, papers from here all the time. Is that true? 
Well, let's let's we're getting um, a little so ahead. Of, hold on a second. Hang on, we're just, just, we're I just, just... want to um, going back to Trustee Collier. I understand what you're saying, but there is something in this letter that says something about they pay a certain downtown tax or they a downtown. There's so something licensing like, their liquor license. Oh, like okay. any, anybody okay. would pay a license fee, but yeah. So I wasn't sure from yeah. reading this letter if they are paying, you know, more rent there, if they are paying, you know, I don't know. So right. I'm trying to understand this letter. That's why I just said and that. I'm I trying, wasn't trying to argue with you. No, I understand, and I, I definitely rent. respect you every time you, yep. you guys speak. But I just wanted to kind of like fully understand and process this letter before I kind of, and that's why I'm asking a lot of questions. Oh, right. I understand so. completely. Any right. business that's down, I can jump in real quick. <clears throat> Any business that's downtown currently that has a liquor license uh, for the social district, there's an endorsement that they can get added to their liquor license uh, that allows them to sell alcohol that can go out um, yep. within the downtown area. So that, I think, is what 750 was speaking to, was they have that additional fee on top of their existing license for their location to be able to, part to participate in the social district. Um, and I think as part of this concept, really you know, we're looking at it as a concept for the downtown area, you know, how we would license it um, and, you know, kind of reviewing that component to it as well. Our, our additional discussions we need to have if it goes forward, it's more, you know, this establishment or this use may need a separate license than the existing business, you know, that the Maple Tree has elsewhere in town because there's another location that's operating here. So it would need a separate license from that standpoint as well. Um, which would also require that endorsement for utilizing the social district as well. Um, so there's other components to this concept that, you know, we would still need to apply if it were to go forward, uh, how it would be licensed properly within the village as well. Again, this is, this is just something that's new. It's a concept. We have an obligation to flush these things through. I'm using that pun intended, too. Um, just to see what everybody, what the thought process is for, the local businesses for, residents and what what we have a, a a feel for what what could work you know we have an obligation to listen to what everybody wants to do you know the worst thing we can do is i mean i think we've come a long way and we are very pro business we want people to be uh viewed as uh, with different ideas and bringing different concepts that would bring a different group of people that could could help us so i i like and i welcome having a robust conversation about this because it's important we need to figure these things out is this something that we want to do so that's why we're having this discussion. It's not, there's no decisions being made today. We, we could push this to the next uh, committee meeting to further discussion. I don't think there's any specific timeline right now. We're just trying to work out some of the things. To get, I was hoping to get feedback from the other you know, business owners downtown. We had a great conversation uh, with the folks from 750 Kachina. We have a, a real understanding, and I tend to agree with that. Um, so it's... It's up to us now to figure out, is, is this something that we want to see in the village? Do we want to see it downtown? Do we want to see it at Cary Grove Park? We have, you know, it was mentioned Lions Park, and that, that's not in our jurisdiction. That's Park District. They would have to go through that board to see something like that. But, you know, I, I, I see something like this really benefiting Cary Lake. I really do. It's, it would be an event center. You bring in, you, you plop this thing down there. You bring in bands. You've got a beautiful setting there. It's my backyard. <laughs> well, good. And uh, you, just, you just look at it from that perspective, you know, bringing something new to a different area of town that otherwise is, no one is using it. You know, we could make these things work. But uh, I, 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 I'm glad that we've had this, this discussion. Is there anything else that anybody wants to bring? I, I think you have a great point. I don't think we should close the discussion until we hear from, from these folks if that's an option for you. I mean, Cary Lake has nothing. Right, we just spent Restrooms. money on a pavilion, and it has nothing. Restrooms. Doesn't even have a, a path that goes all the way around it. This would be a wonderful drawing card to that property, and it doesn't compete with those guys who today don't seem to want to compete with that. Mm -hmm. There is a path that goes all the way around. It's just not paved not all the it's way not around. It's not paved. Yeah, right. It'll yeah. be paved before yeah. that. <laughs> you know, Courtney keeps telling I, me. I still <laughs> anyway. Um, but the point is, we don't have anything there, and we spent money on a pavilion, nice pavilion. We hope that people will use it and rent it. I think something like this might be a great place to try it out and not have to compete with the other folks at least today. Mm -hmm. Somewhere oh. down there low and down the road, who knows? But you know, would you be open to that? Yeah. Oh, could you come up to the microphone please? We didn't bring locations. 
Yeah, we didn't bring locations, but yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I own the property right in front of it, so I've thought about that, and actually, we've we've talked about that uh, mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. um, well, especially with your um, affiliations with food trucks and and music, I mean, that could be a great place because if if you recall, I don't know if you were part of the the whole process when we were building out that lake. There was a pavilion proposed there with music and that, and you know, that was it was kind of got to be too expensive. So we, we didn't look at it that way. There was really not, not going to be any access points for a while either. But, I mean, something like that might be something that uh, you could chew on a little bit and the board can have a little bit of time thinking about. But um, part of this whole discussion that we have at the Committee of the Whole is so you can hear what uh, our views are and what we want to see and what we feel, you know, from our communication with business owners, from residents, what they want. You know, we do surveys, you know, twice a year, and everybody wants... You know, not only good roads, but they want things to do. They want more things to do. They want walking paths. They want more entertainment. So to utilize, or maybe if we were to look at something like this down at Rotary Park, that would be a whole different entertainment center kind of a thing. So uh, is, did you have any other comments or closing comments? Or did you have a timeline for this particular thing right now? This is all perspective. Um, no, we're just kind of in the beginning stages. Uh, once I tell my guys that we're building another uh, bar, I, I'm sure I'll get some dirty looks because <laughs> boating season yeah. is uh, upon us. Yes. But, but uh, no, uh, no, we're open for whatever. So the question is if, you, if, Rotary, if we thought about Rotary Park first, how long would it take you to become up and running? Is there are washrooms That is the there. question, correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There, are, there are restrooms. There are bathrooms restrooms there. there. Uh, <laughs> and electric. Two or three months. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think it's, you I know, these the are. I one over for uh, Jerry over at Side Outs, too. Uh, his is much more. Um, uh, a little more basic. Yeah, basic yeah, than basic. the one that we're talking about, but I think his was just a month. And as I was reading through your information, too, um, you do coordinate food trucks, as the mayor was saying. Um, and I was just also thinking about how downtown Woodstock has their food trucks. They have, like, a food truck weekend or yes. something like that. And um, that would be really cool, actually, at Rotary Park. It would be. To drive the people down. I mean, it's, it's a, as, as Trustee Dudick would always say, it's a diamond in the rough right now. We, we, we really need to um, work on... It's making a beautiful it, piece of property. It is. It is. We we did it for your backyard. <laughs> so you have a lake front. But we had that in mind. No, but uh, these these are good conversations to have. They it gives us an idea of what the business community is looking for, what other new opportunities are for us. And you know, the worst thing that we can do is is close the door on something. Our job is to find a solution, to find out where we could put this. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a really cool concept. And what we have to, if we learned anything from uh, the COVID, you know, we have to pivot. We have to figure out what's the best way that we can all work together and we all survived. I mean, we didn't lose one restaurant during COVID, you know, and we worked together. We tried to make it, make it all work. And we want to continue with that, that, uh, that path. So if you have any other questions for us. And then maybe even some of the restaurants from downtown could come to set up shop at, you know, pop-ups and sure. for parties or whatever. I mean, it's all... Anything is possible. It's got to get the collaboration. Yeah, it's, that's the thing. Everyone's collaborate together, work together, because it's all for, you know, it's for everybody. It's mm -hmm. a, all right. Did anybody else have way. any other questions regarding this? No, but I like how we ended that. I like yeah. how you ended that. Yeah. Nice job. Else? Is there anybody else uh, from the audience that had a comment on this? Real quick, my name's John Rohrbach, uh, 120 Cherry Street. I can walk to downtown. I've been at all of your businesses, thank you. Um, I understand there's a new bar going in downtown, Leo's? No. No, no that's not happening? No. All right. Talk to Leo, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it was discussed and was there a letter against that location? No. 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 Change of business philosophy, that's it. Okay. Awesome. Um, I believe we need to drive business to the locations where people can walk. Um, the lake concept is great for the people that live by the lake. I, I can't walk to the lake. I can walk to downtown. So the more you can bring to downtown, 
the better. Um, I, I'm, I'm concerned that we have businesses that don't want to bring more people to downtown. Thank you. you know, Thank I, you. I do want to say that, you know, my husband and I, and I think uh, Trustee Dudek had mentioned before that, you know, we drove out to Woodstock. I think you and your wife had driven out to Woodstock <coughs> for that. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't feel, I think that would actually bring people in. So, mm -hmm. but that's just my own yeah. personal opinion. The other question is, uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna speak, you gotta come up to the microphone, please. <clears throat> Do you have enough parking at the lake to accommodate me to drive there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, how many parking spots are there? We we're flexible on that because we have auxiliary parking there. Great. <laughs> Anything else? I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned at uh, seven twenty. Thank <laughs> you.